the outrageous expenses incurred by importers in clearing goods at the ports and the number of days spent to clear such goods have been cited as a major contributor to the high cost of doing business in the country. Speaking to GTV News, the president of the Ghana Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Seth E.J. Bassett, the delays and costs involved have been a disincentive for entrepreneurs and investors who wish to invest in the country. The collection and delivery of goods are an integral part of international trade. Ports play an important role in enhancing bilateral trade between countries. In Ghana, the Tema and Takradi harbors have been avenues for imports and exports. However, some aspects in port operations militate against the smooth operations at the ports and has been cited as a major factor leading to the high cost of doing business in Ghana. Delays in the shipping of goods in Ghana have been recognized at these stages. Processing, releasing of cargo documents, obtaining licenses and permits from statutory bodies, and value inspection by the destination inspection companies. The president of the Ghana Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Mr. Seth Ejeba, said the issue of delays at the ports has been a problem investors and entrepreneurs have had to deal with for countless years. According to him, this problem has deterred some investors and has also led to many businesses winding up. If you delay in clearing your goods, the mortgage has been worked. Sometimes the demurrage that people will pay is far more than the duties. And it's not helping us. Because the destination inspection, you've got to go to the inspection companies for them to work on it to be able to get you the certificate. By the time you get a bill of lady and you start doing this, if you don't take it, it will take you about two weeks to one month. And that is going to cost you a lot of money by way of demurrage. Secondly, when duties are very high, people are compelled to do other things. And that is what is affecting the economy. With commodities that have shorter shelf life, the bureaucracies at the ports and also the long periods at which they are kept in containers at the ports has more often than not led to many consumers buying near to wholesome goods on the market. Some traders GTV News spoke to said the high cost in clearing goods at the port is also a big challenge for them. Duty, you know, high. The duties are high at the port so we also add a big margin to the cost of goods to make profit. No, of course, if duties are high, at the end of the day, the final consumer, <laughs> definitely he'll buy it at a higher price. So when duties are high at the port, it will affect everything internally. When the people pay a high amount of money to clear their goods, they also come down to strike a budget that will cover the expenses or the money they pay. The Ghana Shippers Authority has on a number of occasions stressed the need for the regulatory bodies responsible for issuing licenses and permits to provide more precise information to shippers in order to reduce the cost of doing business at the country's ports. Directives from the World Trade Organization indicates that charges at the ports should not exceed the cost of services rendered there. In Ghana, it can take about a month for imported goods to be cleared at the ports. In Cameroon, it takes about 20 days. In Tanzania, it takes about a week. In most European and Asian countries, clearing of goods at the ports can take about two days. These relatively show that it takes importers in Ghana a much longer time to clear their goods. Should the bureaucracies and delays at the ports be reduced, the cost of doing businesses in the country will accordingly improve. Esther Eidu, GTV News, Accra.